Good? Mm. All right, Big Nick. Sorry about the delay, but I'm going to show you how to stretch your um, calf complex out um, in a way that hopefully we can help it get better. So before we do any of the stretches on the redboard, it's important that we warm up that area first. So if you just get out of bed, we don't want to step on it and start doing a bunch of motion. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to warm it up. This is just a piece of PVC pipe. Um, you can get any size, and then you're going to be real tender. So if you could, roll it right on the PVC pipe, great. Um, what I do is just put a bunch of towels, and you can put as many as you need. Um, the whole purpose is just kind of massage it a little bit and get some blood flow to the area. So what we do is just set it on the ground. And you can do both at the same time. At first, just to kind of get good and loose, try to get your butt off the ground and just massage them out. And typically, you're going to spend three, four, five minutes just doing this. If that's comfortable and you don't, you, you got to kind of be pain relevant. It's going to be some tension back there. It's going to be some pain. So do the best that you can. And then from there, you know, if you can go single leg and put the other leg on top, great. If that's too much pressure, just stay the double leg for now. Um, whatever you got to do to kind of just, like I said, warm up that complex. Another way that might be a little bit easier for you at first is just heat. So if you want to get a heat pad, um, that would help and do this. But just the big thing is it's trying to get blood flow to the muscle because we don't want to stretch it when it's cold. So from there, if you do that three or five minutes, get up. And then you have these, the red board at home. So what we'll do is we'll just put it about a foot away from the wall, okay? And what we're going to do is stand on it, toes forward at first. So whatever leg is the, the, the bad one, I want to make sure that you do both legs though, because I'm not sure if you said you had both bad or just one, but let's make sure no matter what we do, we um, bilateral it so we do both sides. So with the right leg first, we're going to go right single leg balance with our toe straight forward. If you want to touch this toe on the ground, that's fine. But the key important thing is to keep the heel on the ground. The heel's going to want to pop up. We got to make sure that it stays on the ground. And then just keep in your normal footwear is fine uh, for now. I'd like you not in barefoot for now. Maybe as we progress, you can go in. From there, what we're going to do is use our pelvis as the driver and just lean forward. Let your knee and everything else move forward, your pelvis and everything, but the foot has to stay back. So we'll drive it forward, and I can already feel a huge stretch back there. Hold maybe 8 to 10 seconds, and then come back out of it. Hold 8 to 10 seconds, come back out of it. So obviously I'm going a little bit faster than 8 to 10 seconds, but for the purpose of the video, we're just going to do it that way. So maybe I'll do, you know, six or seven reps of that. Go to the left leg, same thing, single leg balance, keep my pelvis stationary to the wall, lean forward. My heel wants to come up, I'm not going to let it and keep it flat on the surface. Come back out of it. Flat on the surface, come back out of it. So everything is, per everything is parallel to the wall when I come forward. And you really got to move all your body parts, including the lower leg, forward except the foot has to remain stationary on the ground. So once I do that and I get comfortable with that, now I'm just going to change the position of my foot. So instead of being toe forward, I'm going to toe out maybe 30 degrees and I'm going to complete the same motion. And this is hitting a different part of the calf capsule than it would with the toe forward. So once again, 8 to 10 seconds, 7 reps, come out of it, then I'm going to go left leg. Same type of complex. Forward, I feel a huge stretch, 8 to 10 seconds, come back out of it. 8 to 10 seconds, come back out of it. Good. So then what I'll do next, instead of towing out, I'll tow in. So you know you might not get much motion here. You're not going to be able to go 45 degrees or anything. So maybe it's just 80, you know, whatever the case may be. We're going to get there, toe in, and again, hips everything forward, hit another part of the capsule, back out. Hips forward, back out. 8 to 10 second holds. Make sure I really get in that stretch. Every rep, I want to try to get more motion than the rep I did before. That's a great way to think about it. And then I'll go to the left leg. And I'll hit the same stretch. So we've created quite a bit of motion in the calf capsule. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive it, push it back maybe another foot or so. And now once I've kind of elongated it, now I want to work on a little bit more stabilization, a little bit more range of motion. So what I'm going to do now is once again, toe forward start. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive my knee forward and touch it against the wall, let everything come forward and come back out. This one I'm not going to hold. This one I'm going to do constant motion. But once again, I'm feeling it in the calf. That's what I really want to do. Feel it in the calf. You know, 12, 15 reps, switch legs, hit it again. 
get that knee all the way to the wall. If this becomes easy, the easiest thing I can do is just drive it away from the wall a little bit further. Oh, you see I don't quite have that kind of range of motion. So once I find that threshold of success, I might want to mark it. So the next time I do it, I try a little bit further, I try a little bit further. But for now, this is my success zone. So after I do eight to 10 reps of each leg, I'm gonna to toe out and do the same thing, driving forward. And you might find that when you toe out, you get more motion or less motion. So you might have to move the red board again. And then I'm gonna to toe in, same thing. Eight to 10 reps, driving it forward, getting it up there as far as I can. Once I get done with those exercises, now I've, I've done a little bit of stabilization, but just to make sure, because what happens is we create new motion, if we don't stabilize it immediately following these exercises, then it's just gonna go away tomorrow morning. So I need to make sure that I progress in the right manner. So once I get done with there, all I'm gonna do is come out into the normal floor, foot on the ground, stable surface. I'm gonna do 15 reaches out in front, so I'll go this way out in front, and once again, keeping this heel down, but everything else, this lower leg, moving forward. So I'm out here, and I might just give a light heel touch out in front, but my heel, this foot, remains on the ground. So right now, I'm working that new motion that I just created, and I'm expanding that tissue, but I'm making it stronger, making it more stable. So once I do 15 out there, now I'm gonna go 15 laterally. So once I'm in there, now I'm gonna come laterally with the left leg, little toe touch, back up. Once again, I'm letting this leg internally rotate a little bit. I'm letting my knee come forward, but I'm not letting that heel come off the ground. 15 reps. If this is too much of a stable exercise, you can hold on to the wall. So I can be over here against the wall. Hold on the wall and do this. But this doesn't, isn't quite as stable as outside, so try this one. Once I do 15 there, now I'm going to go posterior reach. So I'm just going to reach backwards as far as I can for 15 reps. And then the last one that I'm going to do is I'm going to cross it underneath for 15 reps. And then I would hit 15 and be done. So it's forward, left, backwards, right, 15 reps each leg after all the red board activity. Um, just a quick how many times you should do this or how often. I would try to do this two times a day if you're in the morning and then again when you get home. Um, but on top of that, what I'd like you to do is even at work, just stand up at work and just do some bilateral squatting, even if it's in your work shoes or you can take them off and just let your knee come forward and back out and just do maybe, you know, 20 to 25 of these um, normal squats. And then you can put your right leg a little bit forward and do 20 to 25 of these squats. And you can hold these two to feel the stretch if you want, or you can just do it through motion. And then I would do 20 to 25 with the left leg, and then, and then it'd be good. So, the, the, the foam molar first, red board second, out in function third, okay? Making sure your heel's always constantly on the ground. Make sure you feel the stretch where you need to feel it, and then immediately following that, get out into normal function and work on the balance of it to make sure it's functional. Good luck. What we do is use our pelvis as the driver and just lean forward. So we'll drive it forward, and I can already feel a huge stretch back there. Hold maybe 8 seconds. to 10 seconds, come back out. So obviously I'm going that way. So maybe I'll do, you know, 6 or 7 reps of that. Forward, my heel wants to come up, I'm not going to let it and keep it flat on the surface. Come back out. Everything is, per everything is parallel to the wall when I come forward. Foot has to remain stationary on the ground. So once I do that, I get comfortable. I'm going to toe out maybe 30 degrees, and I'm going to create a capsule than it would with the toe forward come out of it, then I'm going to go left leg. Same type of complex. Forward, 8 to 10 seconds, come back out of it. So, you know, you might not get much motion here. You're not going to be able to go 45 degrees or toe in. And once again, hips, everything forward, hitting another part of the capsule, back out. Make sure I really get in that stretch. Every rep, I want to try to get more motion. And I'll hit this. So we've created quite a bit of motion. Back, maybe another foot or so. And now once I've kind of, so what I'm going to do now is once again, toe forward start. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this one I'm not going to hold. This one I'm going to do constant motion. So once again, I'm 12, 12, 15 it. reps, switch legs, hit it again. What you do is just drive it away from the wall a little bit further. Threshold of success, I might want to mark it. So the next time I do it, I try a little bit more motion or less motion. So you might have to move the red board again. And then I'm hanging up there 
as far as I can. Once I get sure, because what happens is we create new motion, if we don't stabilize it immediately to make sure that I progress in the right manner. So once I get done with there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do 15 reaches out in front. I'm going to do 15 reaches out in front. This lower leg is moving forward. So I'm out here and I might just give a light ground. So right now I'm working that new motion that I just created. So once I do 15 out there, now I'm going to go 15 laterally. So once, I, once again, I'm letting this leg internally rotate a little bit. I'm letting, if this is too much of a stable exercise, you can hold onto the wall. This, but this doesn't, isn't quite as stable as out So try this one. Once I do 15, as far as I can, for 15 reps, knee for 15 reps. Be done. So it's forward, left, backwards, right. Um, just a quick, how many times you should do this or how often I would try home. Um, but on top of that, what I, some bilateral squatting, even if it's in your work shoes or you can take them off and just lie to these um, normal squats. And then you can put, hold these two to feel the stretch if you want, or you can just do it through motion and then it'll be good. So the, the, the foam roller first, making sure your heel's always constantly on the ground. Make sure you feel the stretch.